this is my 2022 Honda CRF 300L. I'm going to share today some of the modifications I made to my bike. I'm going to start at the front of the bike and work my way to the back. I'm still running the stock IRC tires right now. In all honesty, I do not like these tires. I always feel like the tires are sliding out from underneath me. I do have a set of Bridgestone Battle Axe Adventure Cross tires. I hope that's the right way to pronounce that. I will be installing soon. You might notice the front brake rotor is oversized. The front brake rotor came from my Supermoto wheels. It is a 320mm rotor from Warp 9. I also have shock socks, just like my brother, to protect those fork sails from dirt and debris. My handlebars are Renthal CR High Bend. The grips I'm using are Pro Grip 714 Dual Sport Grips, along with a G2 Throttle Tamer. I installed the Throttle Tamer thinking it would help out with the twitchy throttle, but it didn't. This power socket is a Honda OEM accessory. I will have all the part numbers in the description down below. The handguards are Zeta with the triple clamp handguard mounts. I am also using the Zeta Adventure windscreen. I also have the T-Rex windscreen. I favor the Zeta because I can mount my quad lock phone holder where I can easily see my phone for using the maps. You may notice the brake line is not in the way of the speedometer. I used a 20mm spacer to push the line forward. I changed my mirrors to double tick adventure mirrors. I also replaced the headlight bulb with a Cyclops LED. Now the visibility is a lot better. I know you're gonna hit it. Down here I have the T-Rex Racing Engine Guards, the T-Rex Racing Skid Plate, the T-Rex Racing Center Stand. We figured the center stand would be good to have in case we had to repair a chain or tire while on the trail or on the road. My seat is a Seat Concepts Comfort Low Seat. It is wider and lower than the OEM seat, but during long rides I wish I had more padding. Back here I have the T-Rex Racing Rear Rack with a 2 gallon roto pack for extra fuel. On the sides I have the Adventure Spec Side Luggage Support Rack. I find these help give the frame more support. For my luggage I'm using Nelson Rig. I have the Hurricane Adventure wow. Tank Bag, the Nelson Rig Trails End Saddle Bags RG020, and the Tail Bag RG1055. Back here I have the Adventure Spec Tail Tidy. What I like about this tail tidy is you can use the stock license plate light and harness. No cutting or splicing wires was needed for the installation. Now my favorite part, performance. I installed the 550 Performance ECU, the 550 Performance High Flow Air Box Lid with a DNA High Flow Air Filter and a CBR 300 intake connector tube. Also, the 360mm Black Widow exhaust. I did notice between this exhaust and my brother's exhaust, mine has a slightly deeper tone. In comparison, his has a carbon fiber cap on the end, whereas mine is open. After installing all of these upgrades, the difference is very noticeable. Also, the 550 Performance ECU fixed the twitchy throttle issue. For gearing, I tried multiple combinations. I have tried a 15 tooth in the front, oh, a 40 tooth in the rear. This was excellent for commuting on the road. With this setup, yeah, I was, a I was able to that, achieve uh, almost 75 miles right, per gallon. The road. My current setup is a 14 tooth in the front and a 42 tooth in the rear. It is still capable for highway driving, but great for off-road trails. And I am getting 68 miles per gallon. After changing the gearing, or when I install my supermoto wheels, I had to install a 12 o'clock lab speedometer calibrator to keep the speedometer accurate or at least close to accurate. For suspension, I installed a Race Tech fork spring kit. This kit only adds a spring to the left fork because the stock has only a right spring and no spring on the left. 
I also installed a race tech or IBAC. I hope that's how you pronounce that. <laughs> Rear spring and reuse the OEM damper. After installing the spring, that ride height was raised dramatically. Yeah. I am 5'9 sure right. and had trouble where my feet could barely reach the ground. The solution for this yeah. was a cheap eBay lowering link, so I could get the ride height back to where I was comfortable and well confident to ride. This CRF 300L was an upgrade from my last bike, a 1991 KDX 250. I was just tired of kicking it over about 100 times just to get it started. And with fuel injection, I do not have to fiddle with a carburetor anymore. The electric start makes it a breeze, just hop on, turn the key, press the button and go. The stock suspension was very soft, and the bike did feel underpowered, but we'll get you from point A to B. The service intervals are awesome. And this bike is light, only weighing around 309 yeah. pounds without gear. Making it an excellent beginner <laughs> bike, or if you want to go adventure off the road, in my yeah. opinion. Overall, I'm happy with my CRF 300L. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty much it. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting us. And let's go have some fun. Thank you.